Hi, welcome to Whiteboard 6. Today is a really good day to start thinking about who are the guys who are going to replace the guys who will be replaced. May not be all of them, but you get in deep and you start looking at what was right with these players and what could be the kind of players we are looking at and where do we look for these players. So, you, I hate to do the numbers, but when you get down and do the numbers, whether it is Jokman, Serrat, VDS, RDX, Dravid, Sachin or Gambhir, the five guys that I consider to be test players as much or even more than one day players is that one, they have more hundreds in tests than in one days. The plus on test to one day hundreds for Serrat, seven. L Lakshman, who isn't even a mainstay in one days, eleven. Dravid, twenty-four. Sachin, who is pretty much on par, has three more test hundreds than one days and Gambhir has nine each. Then you look at the averages, the test averages over their one day averages. 15 plus, 12, 13, 11, 6. All these guys pretty much made their test and one day debuts around the same time. When you look at two players, who were mainstays in both tests and one days. I mean, Yubi wasn't, but he's someone we wanted to bleed in tests for a long, long time. Yubi's average is minus 3. His hundreds minus 10. That means he has 10 less hundreds in tests than in one days. Sort of minus 6 and minus 1 on one day, two hundreds. But the lesson here is, where do you look for? Do you look for these guys in ODIs? Do you look for them in IPL? Or do you look for them in T20 or in first class? I think that is something you got to guard against. A lot of players that we have looked for right now have been through ODIs. And that's, that's something that has gone on for a long time where we continue to look and bleed players or blood players, I mean they finally end up bleeding, is from ODIs. So you've had uh, UV, who they've, who, you know, you're trying to do a transfer from ODIs to TESS. Uh, Raina, similar. TESS. Uh, Rohit Sharma hasn't made his TESS debut, but you're trying to. Who else? Kohli, also the same. The whole deal is, that your test numbers and places are sacrosanct. So whoever has been in there because of what the middle order has been, has been locked. That is pretty much locked. So you've not been able to get any new guys. If there has been anyone like Mukund, Akash, Chopra, uh, these guys have not been ODI players. So what they do is they end up staying for a few games and that is it, they are out because they are not. Neither, neither are these guys T20 players, IPL players, they are not names. Uh, there is, I don't think there is really any backing or, you know, if you look at the Facebook, Facebook likes these guys have on uh, the Quick Info pages, there would be a lot less also. Their Twitter following would be a lot, you know, less as well. But when you look at guys like Yui, Raina, Roy Sharma, Kohli, this is where the backing, the money, the marketing, uh, and the smileys are. These are the guys that people really want. Now, today is also Cheteshwar Pujara's birthday. He's a player we've, we've backed and hoped would play for India. He did play for India. We started backing him around 2009 March on board Cricket Crazy India. We talked about him. Some other Indian bloggers were also speaking about him. I remember Solberry speaking about him. So, why don't we back this guy? Uh, if you look at it, we went to the extent of calling him Che Pujara. We said, this guy needs some marketing, some backing, so let's try and back him. Che Pujara is 24 this year. He's played three tests for India. India is yet to lose a test that he's played in. We won the first test he played in, he came in at three. The two other tests he played against South Africa, in South Africa, he pretty much combated quite a lot of balls. So that was pretty good. He scored a lot of triple hundreds at every damn, whether it was first class, under 19, God knows, he just must, must, even in gully cricket scored some triple hundreds. The one problem is that he tends to get injured, but when he does get injured, 
unlike someone called the jot man, he takes time out, six months plus. He's had IPL injuries. Now, Che Pujara has not had a very sexy IPL career. Does that keep him out? So you got to think about it. Are you going to get players from first class cricket who have 50 plus averages who are prolific scorers or you are going to continue going at the ODIs and say try to get Raina, Rohit Sharma and other guys and just keep trying, keep trying giving chances. So decide on that. Yeah, thanks.